Hi guys, it's Justin, and welcome to another edition of Jewess on Jews. So what we are going to be doing on the channel this month and here on out. So I've made a decision. I feel like I'm a super toy doll hoarder right now. So I have way more stuff than what I'm actually playing with. It felt like I buy something and then I buy something on top of that. And I don't stop to enjoy the moment to enjoy what I've already purchased. So kind of going forward, my goal is to go ahead and not necessarily say stay with one collection and kind of uh, enjoy it. But really, if I'm enjoying something or buying something, enjoy that in that moment. Really appreciate it. So... One thing you know about uh, me, if you follow me also on Instagram, is that I always find doll and toy um, deals. So, whether it be discounts, um, hard to find items, I really seem to have a knack of finding those things. And unfortunately, what that does is it kind of feeds doll hoarding behaviors. And a lot of us are like that. Many of us have collections that <clears throat> take up multiple rooms that take up storage units um it's just it can be overwhelming so what my goal is especially with my integrity um toys is to really unbox them enjoy them and love them one for example which is the title of this video we will be doing an unboxing of the 2019 integrity convention um Garden of Versailles Poppy Pocket. So, with Integrity Toys, um, they have different um, doll collections within the brand themselves. So, for example, Poppy Parker is like a 60s mod um, team model. So, you'll see a lot of mod stuff with her. Um, her body style is also different. It is slimmer. And she has like um, either flat feet with um, interchangeable high heel feet or she has the new adjustable heel that can go from flat to heel. Then you have East 59th Street which is like the old Hollywood um, 1950s era, 40s, 50s era. Um, so you'll see you know a lot of darting on the clothing bust of those dolls are a lot larger because they're supposed to be like the darting the really kind of stiff darting that was on the old Hollywood um, retro outfits so that's the East 59th Street brand then you also have New Face New Face is more so like a more modern um, edgier brand um, the New Face body is a slightly different from Fashion Royalty but they are still somewhat compatible um, they have some feet and hand differences. Um, I don't want to go into explanation of that because I'm not an expert of that yet. But their bodies are just a little bit different, but for the most part, a lot of it is still compatible. But the, um, the torsos and the waist and the legs and things, they can sometimes be different if you're really buying, like, tailor-made clothes for those specific body styles. Then you have fashion royalty. So fashion royalty can be anything from, um, you know, really classic things. It can be um, more modern stuff as well. But fashion royalty really was the satellite collection that really kind of started out on Integrity Toys. So we, they started out with the play line with um, Janae and Friends, and then they kind of went to Studio IT. And then from there, they really branded into fashion royalty. And then all the different other collections have kind of started from there. So in addition to that, we also now have the Meteor Doll brand, which is like a um, really great fusion brand. It fuses fashion royalty, new face, color, and fusion all together, which I really like. And then, as I mentioned, there's also Color and Fusion. And Color and Fusion is mostly um, used on dolls like the Jim brand. So Jim, for most people who are 80s babies, they know that was a cartoon series. And those dolls with the Color and Fusion, their proportions are a lot bigger and not as dainty as a normal fashion doll. So their hands 
are usually really big. Some people say they're a little bit manly. But if you remember the original 80s um, gym dolls, their hands were large. So they really are an homage to the original dolls. Also, their heads are a lot different. Um, they're a lot bigger. And also, they just have the appearance of more of a striking appearance. More so than the softer features of some other doll collection so that's just kind of like a gist of you know what integrity doll collecting is like so i'm going to go ahead and go into this video so the reason why i give that information is because to kind of let you know the history so with poppy parker um poppy parker is a caucasian doll she's pretty much always caucasian but every now and then they will make an African-American version. So they'll make her in the skin tone of Ethel Black. So this is one of those examples where we get a black Poppy Parker. So this is Garden of Versailles. And as we open her up, we see how beautiful she is. Beautiful, beautiful skin. Get that to focus. Alrighty. So let's take out her accessories pack. And in her accessories pack, you see she has some very beautiful jewelry. So she has two sets of earrings, some hoops, and kind of like a snowflake um, earring. And then she has a large kind of square, not square cut, but what is that other? princess cut i believe this is a princess cut diamond and then three sparkly bangles so that's them i don't really care for jewelry but i will put jewelry on some of my dolls so these are some of her sh other accessories which are her shoes so i do want to open that so i am going to find a little latch there so that we can open okay so these are oh, that's cool so these are some strappy heels and these are kind of um not suede but they're well they are kind of suede-ish but they are kind of that textured um ribbon type fabric and then this I'm not sure what it is it's hard I think this is a purse yeah so this is a little clutch that does open it is tiny it almost looks like an eyeglass case and then finally we have her extra set of hands so the cool thing about the dolls now is that they have um they're starting to make them with painted fingernails and longer fingernails. And so what you'll see on the doll, so this is the, I want to make sure before I say, because they almost look the same to me. Okay. So the the hands that are actually on Poppy herself are the short um, fingernails, and these are the longer fingernails, which as you can see, even though there's glare, they are definitely some long tips on there. So let's get Poppy out of the box. So there's the one out. And we can take the ribbons. Take those first. You know, sometimes I kind of wonder, is anyone actually interested in these videos? Because these dolls are not old now. So, you know, I'm not the first person to review them. But you know what I was like? Maybe somebody needs to hear me ramble. So, I'm going to give it a Plus, you know, one thing I like to do is I like to have additional dialogue, so you just don't get a doll review. You kind of get the parent to what I'm feeling at the time of doing this review. So I'm just going to pull my strings, and I'm just going to cut these little holding strings here. And you can see that. So what have you guys been up to during quarantine? You know, we've been under um, stay-at-home orders. Um, a lot of things are happening in the nation right now. So it is definitely a scary time for many. So for me, doll play is my distraction. So this is the certificate of authenticity. And 
I have 976 of 1200. Okay, Popeye. And then I have her little slip ribbon to do at the bottom. It's Poppy Paka. Poppy, Poppy, Poppy. Okay. So, as you see, she has a beautiful curly hair, and it's in a hairnet. So, we are just going to release that, and whoa, she is super beautiful. Poppy! Poppy Paka! Okay. She is absolutely gorgeous. So, this particular version of Poppy only has the high heel feet. It is not the adjustable one, but as you can see, her feet are tiny. These are not like normal feet of other Integrity dolls, which is fine, but it just kind of makes it sometimes hard to put shoes on them, but you just have to remember which brand and what collection they come from. But overall, she's a very, very beautiful doll. So it is lined inside with white. She is wearing just simple um, hosiery, no underwear, just some nude hose. And you see she has a very plunging neckline and this long exaggerated black sash. So she's really going to be a very beautiful display doll for me. She's more than likely going to not wear her shoes because you can't see them anyway. Those shoes are going to go to someone else. And she's just going to stay in this beautiful gown until I'm ready to redress her. But for right now, we'll keep her as is. I do have some ideas for her. She's very, very beautiful. So, as I'm looking at her, I don't believe her skin tone is that far black. I believe this is considered... Is it sunkissed? Let's see. Let's Google it. Let's find out. So, yes, she is sunkissed. So, I was right. Well, I was wrong, but right. I called her FR Black, but I looked at her shoes were not FR Black. So I was like, she has to be sun kissed then. So she is sun kissed. Her hair color is black. She does have hand applied eyelashes. She does not have quick switch, which means you can't really take out her limbs really easily, but that's fine. And she has the high heel feet. And she is 12 inches and she's articulated. Blah, 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 blah. All the things we've already talked about and about. So, that is Miss Poppy Parker. So, her skin tone, she's definitely what I would consider an African-American doll. Because her skin tone is very deep. It's sun-kissed, but then when you see this really textured curly hair, this to me is a sister. So she's a very beautiful doll. Again, some close-ups. I love the simple makeup. And that's that's one thing that I look for in dolls. I don't like dolls that really have distinct looks. They can only look good with the current fashion that they have on. This is doable enough to where she can easily be redressed in different colors and it won't look off because the makeup is so distinct. So I like that it's soft and beautiful. Her hair is amazing. I'm most definitely never taking this ponytail down. Because I just like her little curly poof. But this is black hair. I don't care what nobody say. Even if her skin tone ain't that far black, she black to me. So, it's just the hell right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay safe. And I look forward to sharing with you more reviews and more doll chat in the next video.